Pisces and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do November 2020 and we're going to use the tarot cards. We're going to use these right here, okay? And uh, we're going to use, as well, we're going to use the Sacred Power Oracle, okay? I'm going to take these out now. And we're going to use the, sac uh, the Scarabs and we're going to use the Dices, okay, to give us some messages. And what else are we going to use? We're going to use the romance angel deck okay for messages that we may have for this month so we're going to read about love about career about health anything that pops out we're going to see what november 2020 message has for you and um i want to remind you to please like if you like this video at the end comment if anything resonates with you and of course pick whatever resonates with you because remember this is a general reading for pisces this is not for everybody, so you know, make sure you pick whatever resonates with you. And if you want a private reading with me, then go to the links below and I'll be more specific about your situation. Okay? That being said, let's get to it. Let's shuffle. Okay? Okay, Pisces. Let's see what we have here for you this November. Okay. Let's see. Move the camera a little bit over here. Angel decks. Okay, and let's okay, let's flip these around and see what we have here, Pisces. Okay. Hmm, interesting. That one fell there. Okay. And two more. Okay. So this could get a little messy. <laughs> All right, let's get a little scarab here. See what message we have. Okay, and let's see what the romance angel has. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Oh, we forgot to flip this one. Okay. Intuition. Ooh, this is a very Piscean type of card. Intuition. Pisces are known for their intuition. Okay. What's the main thing here that's going on now? I'm not talking about next month. I'm talking about now. Okay. We have here the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. You could be working on something, working on a project, applying your skills to something. Okay. Pisces, you may be a little busy. Okay. That's great. But you have your doubts. Okay, maybe you've uh, accomplished some of this stuff, but you still haven't received the recognition that you wanted. There's like some sort of defeat going on here with this, okay, in the moment. So you might be a little bit discouraged. Um, we also have here the, uh, sorry, the Princess of, of, of Pentacles, meaning there's a new idea. Maybe there's a new project that, you, that, that has just arised right now, you know, that has you, you know, has your time consumed. We have here the Sharia. You know that there's a new path for you now, okay? And we have here the King of Swords, meaning that this situation pertains to cutting ties with anything that no longer serves you, um, cutting ties with limiting ideas of people or uh, situations that, you know, question your creativity and, you know, you know, kind of, kind of like held you back in that. So you kind of like released that already. So now you're just, you know, working on whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. Now, what's coming to pass, and I like to say, you know, the last month, because we're doing monthly here, we have here the Queen of Pentacles, okay? And the Queen of Pentacles pertains to wealth, nourishing yourself. Maybe you just finished, uh, you know, prepping yourself, nourishing yourself, making sure you got everything correct in your life, you know, in terms of your health and your body. Okay, this is a very uh, physical card here. 
and we also have here the queen of, of cups maybe last month you were pretty much tending to yourself okay and maybe you were more observant you really weren't much into action you were more of being more passive and observing everything and now you're just putting everything to work okay, maybe you were learning a skill sorry maybe you were learning a skill with your with your mind but not really doing anything you know physically not really getting started but now it's like okay you're getting started now this month pisces get ready because we have here the wheel of fortune of november okay this is what's coming there's gonna be a lot of <laughs> movement around in regards to this and you know what you also have here osiris and isis scarab okay and it could also have it could mean a little love is coming in um and you love or something with luck pertaining to love maybe someone shows up at your door um i don't know maybe something's it's set to motion in november okay and it's of luck now your attitude towards that will be the ten of of ten of pentacles meaning that you're gonna feel like you have everything you wanted everything's gonna be in place for you in your mind okay you have this card here as your attitude in november okay so that's a really good attitude man you feel wealthy gratitude you feel that you know um now from the outside i warn you because you have here the five of cups be careful okay with the offers that you're getting okay there's going to be something that might be a little disappointing to you from the outside maybe someone might disappoint you in november we have your one two three four five six seven and i think it has to do with your desires okay and maybe you you kind of thought about it like hey, this person could or this situation could disappoint me it, could, it doesn't have to be a person it could be a situation but you were kind of expecting it but now it's sort of like came you know but don't let that discourage you okay now what you wish for you have here the ten of cups you wish for satisfaction you wish for fulfillment and this is a very piscean card by the way but this is something that you wish for you want that you want that harmony in your life and this is for november okay not now this is for november and then i would say by towards the end of november we have here the nine of of uh, of wands okay you're gonna draw the line in some situation that you feel like okay i've had my limit no more okay and don't waste your energy pisces because pisces could be drained really easily remember they're very intuitive use your intuition this is a card of messaging for you use your intuition for november okay if something seems off if someone doesn't seem right a don't give it their energy because that could suck your energy off Okay, now we have here the angel romance deck saying codependency, okay? Addictions are affecting your romantic life, okay? I don't know what that means for you. You're the only one that knows what this message means for you. And we have here give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, okay? Only you know what that is. And, you know, sometimes, I mean, this is a romantic deck, but sometimes it could mean, uh, doesn't have to necessarily be a relationship it could be a partnership a business partnership okay that we're probably talking about here a lot of people are single some people don't want a relationship okay you gotta apply this and to your situation okay um so yeah you have to really work on this codependency where do you feel like you're codependent in this relationship okay and don't expect too much from people because people could disappoint you so expect that if you expect that you will not be disappointed and draw the line don't let people suck your energy have some boundaries for november okay other than that you're good you have some wheel of fortune you got some luck in your side and you have a really good positive attitude for november and keep your intuition pisces all right pisces if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with any other pisces you like and yeah i'm gonna be here next month and i really hope you uh like this video and i wish you the best pisces next time